Welcome everybody to Forza Horizon 4 and today we're taking a look at the 1970 AMC Rebel The Machine. Now this debuted in October 1969 at the National Hot Rod Association's World Championship Drag Race fina fina Finals and was only sold in 1970 with a mere 2,326 built as the Rebel was discontinued in 1971 with the AMC Matador taking over it though you could get uh, a Matador with this level of uh, trim but this is my uh, favourite version of the machine and uh, yeah it's notable for its electric blue large ram air intake hood scoop with hood mounted rev counter just like the likes of the Pontiac GT or the Judge and uh, yeah it's also got its red and white and blue stripes it also comes with heavy duty rear suspension springs from a station wagon which gives it this uh, raked look like a uh, hot rodder for the uh, drag strip though this is a uh, fully legal road car uh, so it's the most powerful fully road legal road car that AMC ever made and uh, yeah it also uh, has power disc brakes and a Borg Warner T10 4 speed manual gearbox so yeah plenty of cars, muscle cars from the 60s and 70s had a 4 speed manual but not many cars uh, had this kind of look to them which I really really like to be honest I like the uh, the mix of you know conservative looks with the uh, decals and the uh, paint and uh, the machine written on the side uh, as well as obviously the big hood scoop uh, with the uh, rev counter on top and uh, yeah I really do like the slightly flared rear fenders granted those rear fenders do mean uh, you've got quite a narrow entrance for the boot but yeah still a really rather uh, sizable boot nonetheless and uh, yeah you've got twin exhaust at the back and uh, yeah a nice amount of chrome not too much but enough and uh, yeah, love the wheels that are uh, featured on this version of the car, which you could actually get on other versions of uh, AMC cars because they were that popular. But yeah, look best on this vehicle for sure. And uh, yeah, you also got a uh, red, white, and blue armrest in the middle there. No bench seat. Well, yeah, it is a, a ke technically a bench seat, but you uh, really wouldn't want to be uh, sitting where the uh, gear lever is. And a decent amount of room in the back as well. So uh, yeah, easily one of the more not only rarer muscle cars sold during the 70s but also one of my uh, personal favourites and uh, yeah glad it's actually back in the Forza Horizon series as uh, so yeah wasn't technically available until the festival playlist uh, you know had it featured but uh, nonetheless great car and uh, yeah good engine even though it's not the most powerful engine uh, from a muscle car from the era as it has 340 horsepower and 427 pounds feet of torque from a 6.4 litre V8 engine which granted is not all that much in comparison to other cars from the same year as this the Buick GSX has more ha horsepower than this as well as more torque as well as the Chevrolet uh, Chevelle SS having more power more torque as well as a Dodge Challenger but you know, I like those cars mostly. I don't, I'm not a massive fan of the Chevelle SS, but I do like the Dodge Challenger and the Buick GSX. But they offer two different ways of doing a muscle car, and this is another version, way of doing it, to be honest. A bit more restraint in terms of the power and the torque, but manages to make up for that with uh, really rather good handling and braking. And uh, yeah, the styling sets it apart from those two vehicles as well. Uh, so yeah, you're probably wondering why I'm having to do it in this, uh, in the. Uh, auto show car festival arena part well basically the panning shots have been broken ever since the lego expansion came out so yeah those shots that you see me opening the video with are completely broken they're cutting the car off with the uh, black uh, barriers on the bottom and the top with so yeah unfortunately can't be at my own house or whatever on this game so far until those uh, have been fixed but nonetheless let's get out onto the open road and see just what this car can do one thing I do like about this car is the fact that it's using AMC's own V8. It's not, you know, like uh, Chevrolet or and Chrysler and the like sharing their engines between different vehicles. So you've got a really rather unique engine in its own right. Now granted, it's similar to those kind of engines, low revving, more torque than horsepower and the like. But yeah, it does have its own distinctive uh, engine noise going for it, which I do really rather like. And because it's in a body that weighs only 3,650 pounds, means it's significantly lighter than a Buick GSX. So, uh, yeah, even though that car does have more torque and more horsepower than this, this does handle better because of that lack of weight. And, uh, yeah, less power and less torque also means the chassis and the tyres have less to deal with. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a middle of the uh, road kind of uh, muscle car, to be honest. Never gonna uh, set the uh, 
drag strip on fire or anything like that because yeah doesn't have quite the horsepower or the torque to match other vehicles but it's still pretty good in terms of acceleration 0 to 16 6.4 seconds 0 to 114.5 seconds and because it's got better gearing than some of the muscle cars from this period has a top speed of 141 miles an hour so uh, yeah fairly decent in terms of acceleration and the like but yeah I'm more into this car for its looks for its engine and uh, for the way it handles and brakes more than you know pure acceleration or speed so uh, yeah does achieve all of that pretty well to be honest so uh, yeah really do like it and uh, yeah just makes me yearn for more AMC cars on these Forza games to be honest because yeah AMC is one of those more underrated manufacturers sure we've had plenty from them over the course of several games we've had the AMC Pacer, the AMC Gremlin, the Javelin and uh, yeah in this game obviously we've got the Hornet X so uh, yeah over the course of several Forza games we've had plenty of AMC cars but there's still plenty out there that we've yet to have so uh, yeah I would like more out there but obviously we're not going to get any in this game because this is mainly a British focused game so yeah and most cars like this are a rarity they're only really in the game to add some variety so uh, yeah would like to see more in the next Forza Motorsport game given that we're not going to get one this year um, because we're waiting for the next Xbox to come out for the next Forza Motorsport game uh, hopefully that gives them more time to bring some more rare American cars or at least more American cars that haven't been fused on racing games before because yeah personally I would like some more AMC cars like the uh, like the uh, Eagle for instance which isn't going to be the fastest vehicle ever on the game but it is you know technically the first ever crossover vehicle and AMC were the you know the first manufacturer to really invent that type of vehicle so uh, yeah it would be nice to have it on the game as, a, as it is a landmark car in vehicle history even if you don't like crossovers it is an important vehicle nonetheless and uh, yeah it would be nice to race it against the likes of these muscle cars because uh, yeah AMC for my money did do some of the more unique muscle cars from the period and uh, yeah this is one of them uh, as it's incredibly rare but still an incredible vehicle and uh, yeah it's able to match other more rare vehicles like the Judge and uh, you know the Chevelle SS in terms of handling and braking even if not quite as much in terms of power and torque. Nonetheless, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.